Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are making over my kids' room. I am so excited for this video. Finally, as you know, in last week's video, we rearranged some furniture in my home to move all three of my children into one room and then moved all of their toys into what used to be the nursery, so now we have a bedroom and a separate playroom. I knew that making these changes would be a very long step-by-step -step process, and it certainly is. In the first video, like I said, we rearranged the furniture, got rid of the play area, turned the nursery into the new playroom, and then moved all three kids into this one room. Now in this second video, we will be completely cleaning and making over this space, turning it into a very beautiful, calm, clutter-free bedroom for my kids. And the third step to this process will be cleaning, decluttering, and organizing the playroom. It is a complete disaster in there. That's not even a good enough word for it. It looks like a toy bomb went off in there and just exploded toys everywhere. My plan for the toy room is to make it very minimal and clutter free for my kids to enjoy all of their toys and make it easy for them to clean up after themselves and just make it an all around nice space. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name's Becky. I'm a wife and mom to three little ones. My son will be four soon, my daughter is two, and my son Wyatt is four months old. If you have no idea what I'm talking about regarding the last video, you can go check it out. I will link it in the description for you where I rearranged all of the furniture so you kind of have an idea of what my house used to look like and the direction I'm going in. Also, if you like these types of videos, real life, mom life, cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and some makeovers here and there, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. As you can see, we started in this room by just picking everything up, putting the toys that were in here into the playroom. Now we are vacuuming. Then we are taking apart Hazel's crib. Noah and Hazel are getting bunk beds, and then there will be Wyatt's crib in here as well, so we will be taking Hazel's crib apart, then moving the furniture into the center of the room so that I can paint. Also, a little bit later in today's video, I'll be sharing Wyatt's brand new Newton Baby crib mattress. Both Hazel and Wyatt's crib mattress just weren't working for me, and I've been looking at the Newton Baby crib mattresses for some time. Right now, you can get $50 off your Newton crib mattress, plus free shipping by using my link and my code below. You can also try 100 nights of sleep on the Newton Baby, and if you're not happy, Newton offers free returns. It is time, I've been waiting five days to explain how you make me feel inside, baby, got it all figured out. I was so happy to be taking this crib apart. I just really didn't like the way the room looked with the crib in it. It didn't match anything at all. Even though it is bittersweet because Hazel is my baby and I cannot believe she's moving into a big girl bed. That is just crazy to me. But at the same time, I am happy to see this thing go. How I shiver inside doesn't show But my nerves are inside out It's because you're not worth less than perfection Ooh, thought it was in my pants Now I'm all confused Turning gold here is what was under and behind Noah's bed. It was so gross. I'm so happy to have finally pulled it out and cleaned under there.
I've talked about this carpet scraper before and I really didn't like it and I finally found a use for it. My vacuum couldn't really get right next to the wall and get the hair that had built up and this carpet scraper worked great for that purpose. Next, I'm going to wipe down the trim and the chalkboard wall because we will be painting over it. Then I'll show you an overview of the room before we start painting. Right now I'm standing in the corner I see you from across the room I used this color, Swiss Coffee, in what is now the playroom, what used to be the nursery. I'm not sure if you guys remember, if you've been here for a while. I absolutely loved this color, so much so that I wanted to do this bedroom that color as well. You guys know if you've seen previous videos of mine, I love painting and I never use painter's tape because I just feel like it's unnecessary. Maybe some people use it and they feel like they need it. But for me personally, I don't think I need it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like painting as well. For me, it's so calming and satisfying to see the color change and just pop in my headphones and have some me time. Ooh, baby, let me love you. This chalkboard wall ended up needing four coats of paint, which honestly I thought it would need even more than that because it was black and I'm painting over it with a very, very light color. I probably could have gotten away with three coats, but I really just wanted to be safe and make sure nothing was showing through.
Here's what the room looks like with only one coat of paint. I went ahead and did a second coat off camera because that would be so unnecessary for you to see me paint the same room the same color twice. But I also wanted to show you what it looks like after two coats as well. Before we start moving all of the furniture back, taking apart Noah's bed and making room to build the bunk bed, I wanted to share my brand new Newton Baby crib mattress with you guys. This two-stage crib mattress is bringing safer sleep to babies and peace of mind to all parents. It's 100 100% breathable, washable, and recyclable with its revolutionary breathable surfaces designed with innovative breathe-through technology. You can literally breathe right through the mattress. Believe me, I tried. I pushed my face against the mattress and you can breathe right through it. This significantly reduces the risk of suffocation, which is optimal for breathability and temperature regulation to help your baby and you sleep longer. The Newton Crib Mattress is made with absolutely no foam latex or adhesives. It's hypoallergenic and completely washable. There is no other mattress on the market that is completely washable like a Newton crib mattress. I wanted to hold this mattress up to the window so you guys can see how breathable it is. You can see almost right through it. You can see the light from the window through the mattress. It's made of the same food grade material as a yogurt cup and the three-dimensional shape is 90% air by volume. I have been eyeballing this mattress for such a long time and I'm so happy I finally have one. Make sure you click the link and use my code in my description and get $50 off your Newton Baby crib mattress plus free shipping. You can also try 100 nights of sleep on Newton Baby and if you're not happy, Newton offers free returns. If you're in the market for a safe and healthy baby mattress, you can stop your research today because Newton Baby has come to the rescue. Because it's 100% washable, this investment will actually save you money in the long run. You can pass it down from child to child and it will stay intact. Again, click the link in my description and use my code below to get $50 off plus free shipping on your Newton Baby crib mattress. With the 100 night sleep guarantee, you have nothing to lose. I wanted to unbox my Newton Baby crib mattress to show you guys, but I am actually going to wait until the end to put it in this crib because everything was piled on top of the old mattress and I honestly didn't want all of that weight on my brand new mattress. So like I said, I'll just be putting it on a little bit later. So the next step in this room is to take apart Noah's old bed. I wanted to take the mattress off first and then we are going to take the bed apart so we can have some room and build these new bunk beds. When I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry, everything's the same We'll try tonight This time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound We do not plan on getting rid of this bed at this point because eventually the plan would be for the boys, Noah and Wyatt, to share this room and have the bunk beds and then Hazel will have her own room and we can use this bed at that point when she goes in the other room. Right now they are all so small. They love being all in the same room together. If I were to move Hazel, I know I've gotten a lot of comments about having Hazel and Noah and Wyatt all in the same room, especially because it's boys and girls. They are so young. They are best friends and they love sleeping in the same room together. If I were to separate Hazel, she would be so alone and that's sad and I do not want to do that. That is not what works for our family and I'm sorry if you disagree, but this is the best for our family right now. My lovely husband got everything set up for me. He organized all of the parts and pieces and then now I'm just going to go ahead and try to put this bunk bed together.
guys just saw me build some of the bunk bed and I literally did like the first three steps I think it was and <laughs> I messed up to the point where my husband had to take literally the entire bed apart everything that I did he had to take apart and redo I did stuff backwards and I just couldn't trust myself to build the rest of the bed so my husband did build Daddy? what Mama. Noah yeah. yeah my husband did build the rest of the bunk bed and I'll show you that in just a minute but and my hair is not greasy it's wet I just took a shower but I wanted to jump in here and just tell you that because I know you didn't see me finish building the bug bed and I just couldn't do it I guess I'll show you guys where I messed up but so I'll show you guys the finished bunk beds in just a minute here the next thing I have to do is open the mattress for the top I got an 8 inch mattress because I feel like a shorter mattress Noah had a 10 inch I feel like a shorter mattress would be better because they'll be lower from the ceiling or Hazel would be lower from the top bunk so that's the next thing but I had to jump on here and tell you guys that right now because I know you didn't see me finish building the bunk bed and I wanted to tell you why so here is the finished bunk bed we did put the mattress on the bottom bunk already this is not where this bed is going to go it's actually going to go in that corner and the only reason is because this vent is right here and I don't want either of the kids being underneath this vent directly and then the crib is going to go over here and the white dresser is going to go on this wall. It's also day three and this project is taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. Noah is at my mom's house right now and I really want to have it done before he gets home. So I'm really hoping I can get there. I am going to throw this bookshelf away because it's extremely wobbly. It was pretty expensive too so I'm really surprised. I'm not sure what one I'm going to get. They do need a very sturdy bookshelf. They have a lot of books, but I have a lot of work ahead of me. All your dreams are lost. Everything is wrong. You feel like it's your fault. Just remember, I will be there for you, baby. Remember, there's nothing out there to get you. Don't forget it. When life goes lemons, just call This is what Hazel was doing while my husband was finishing up building the bunk bed. She was just ripping apart all of the styrofoam and stabbing it with a screwdriver and getting all of the little pieces everywhere. But she was happy and calm and that was what was important for the time being. Now we're just going to clean up her little mess. After I moved the furniture out of the way, I wanted to vacuum underneath where the bunk bed was going to go, and I know it looks like I'm moving the bunk bed by myself, but I am not. My husband is on the other side of it. At this point, I decided I didn't like the crib this way, but I wanted to make sure that the crib and the dresser would fit on the wall together with the crib turned the other way. So I measured the crib and I measured the dresser. Then I measured the wall and it does fit. So I went ahead and moved the crib.
now it's time to open up the mattress. I just got this on Amazon and honestly, I think it's super comfortable. I got the same one for Noah. Like I said, this one is two inches shorter than Noah's. Noah's is a 10 inch and this one is an eight inch, but I'm actually going to put the 10 inch on Hazel's bed and the eight inch on Noah's so that he's a little bit further away from the ceiling. She's still smaller than him, of course, being that she is two and he is almost four. It just made sense. I just did a quick vacuum of the entire room before moving the dresser that was in the nursery and which is now the playroom into the new room for the kids. When I told you I fear we are done, that we are done. The next thing I'm doing is just taking some of the stuff that's in the crib out of the crib, folding some of the blankets, then I'm going to go through a little Target haul with you guys. I got the kids some new sheets and new comforters, or actually I think they're quilts, they're super cute. When I told you I fear we are done, that we are done. So I got these two quilts, they're gray. I really love this gray neutral color. They're super thin, but they're also very warm and comfortable. Then I got Hazel and Noah some new sheets. Noah will have the yellow and blue, and I also got Hazel two pink ones. They're more of a blush color. The second pink one did not come in this package. It came separately for some reason, but I absolutely love everything at Pillow Fort at Target. If you haven't checked the Pillow Fort stuff out, you definitely need to. At this point, I felt a little bit lost and not really sure where to go next. I was washing the quilts and the sheets so I couldn't make the beds yet, so I decided to empty the crib a little bit more, move some furniture around, I'll show you guys some tapestries, put the new Newton Baby crib mattress in the crib, move all the books into the playroom, and really just start wrapping up this project. I was super happy with how far it had come and really, really loving how it was turning out. You're my type 
sweet and you care about my night but i'm sobering up in this moment's past oh yeah i don't wanna be tucked in someone else's arms cause my heart just broke and i need my time wanna speak so loud even though i After wrapping all of that stuff up and putting everything back where it needs to go and just really cleaning the room, I'm wiping down some surfaces, making sure all of the kids clothes are nice and organized in the closet because there are no doors on this closet. So I just want to make sure it looks presentable. Then the last three things we'll be doing in this room is making the bunk beds, vacuuming, and hanging the tapestries. The only one I care about, yeah, about, yeah. Are you dead? I have discovered that making bunk beds is extremely difficult. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you motivation and inspiration to clean or be productive throughout your day and turn your home into a place you truly enjoy living in. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I met you in the summer.